Hey guys, Adrian here from RME with a little quick tip. And yes, we are finally in 4K on YouTube. Thanks for noticing. Okay, all jokes aside, let's talk about setups. As many of you guys, I am a huge fan when it comes to vintage samplers. In fact, it's quite fair to say that I'm a collector right now. I have an old EMU 6400 Ultra, and an Exonic Mirage MPC 2000, and I have this beauty, the MPC 4000. I had several units over the years, and I bought this one last year. And what I noticed is that this one had the digital board option installed. And what this means is that I have an SPDIF input and output on the MPC 4000. And I thought to myself, what if I connect the ADI2 Pro to the MPC 4000 via SPDIF? And that's exactly what we're going to do today. To be honest, this setup process is very easy. Just take a normal RCA cable, hook it up to the MPC, put it into the ADI2 Pro, make sure that you have selected the SPDIF output as the word clock source for the MPC 4000 and that you have a signal on the ADI2 Pro. You can check the SPDIF signal in the state overview. If you don't know what that is, check out one of our videos about the ADI2 Pro. If I have an established SPDIF connection that is shown in the state overview on the ADI2 Pro, I can just go to the recording and sampling setup of the MPC 4000, select the digital input as my recording source, and I'm good to go. What this means is I can take every source, hook it up to the ADI2 Pro and have the brilliant signal to noise ratio and conversion quality of the ADI2 Pro directly at my disposal on the MPC 4000. So many of you guys would ask me now, why would you do that? Because you want to have the character and sound of the MPC 4000. That is true, but only to a certain extent, especially when it comes to heavy plate vinyl and old dirty vinyl. The signal to noise ratio is always, is sometimes just horrible. You have so much noise and so much hum with old vinyl and you can't use that normally with the MPC 4000 because the AD conversion in the MPC 4000 is also a little bit gritty, which is beautiful, but it's not always suitable for every material. So I hooked up my turntable and the Phono preamp to the ADI2 Pro, record the signal via the ADI2 Pro into the MPC 4000 and I'm good to go. And I have the brilliant sound of the ADI2 Pro combined with the flexibility and the workflow of the MPC 4000. I hope this setup was helpful and inspires you to try the ADI2 Pro as a new front end for your old vintage samplers. Thanks for watching.